Um, let's find out who's on the, uh, the show this evening. Andy knows. Who do we have? First of all, he's a musician who I think has you know, lived the life of rock and roll. You know the phrase that many are called, but only few are chosen? I do. I think he's one of the chosen ones. He's Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. He's Ozzy Osbourne on the show. <laughs> there he is. Ozzy. Ozzy. And that's Sharon, his lovely wife next to him there. And on his finger, that's a silver Hermesitas dispenser. <laughs> So we have Ozzy there. Yep. Fantastic. Who else do we have? I think he's one of our very own legends of uh, stage and screen. <laughs> Andy, yes. shall we bring on our first guest? We should bring on our first guest, but before that, let's see him in action. Here he is. He rushed out there doing the bit. You got tired of waiting, didn't you? I got pissed off of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to everyone in turn. You just have to wait there with your number on the ticket until we oh, call you. I was 17 when I come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how old are you now then? You were 70 when you came in. How old are you in, in, in real years? 53. 53. That's pretty. I mean, man, I, you know, I bet you're quite surprised you're still alive, but 53, <laughs> you look good. Well, for well, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell my body to medical science to see what's going on in there, because my wife really wants to know if there's a heart <laughs> or a swinging brick. <laughs> but if you're cremated, those ashes will have a street value of millions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll be the first to snort them. <laughs> Not that we endorse that kind of thing here at the BBC. <laughs> Absolutely. But you, uh, you're still going strong. I mean, you've got... I mean, I, I think you're bigger than you ever were, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in the States, OzFest is a huge event. Yeah, now, yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Um, this, t this new TV thing we did is fly on the wall. It's just gone through the roof, you know. Well, because, let's explain this, this is a new show. I'm not sure when it starts off, it starts pretty soon. It's called The Osbournes. Yeah. Right? And basically, I think it was MTV did it. You allowed MTV for six months to follow you and your family yeah. around with cameras. It's been described as um, Spinal Tap meets the Partridge family. Well, yeah. <laughs> but the show is, it's a huge hit, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's remarkable. And how have you changed it? How have the family enjoyed having cameras there? Because didn't, didn't your oldest like, daughter not want to take part? It, it was kind of... I, I kind of got used to being the Aussie of the crazy mad rock and roller who got pissed every night and got stoned and ended up in the Betty Ford... No, it, talking about the Betty Ford Centre, you know how my wife got me to go to the Betty Ford Centre? How? She goes... I found this place, darling, she says, where they teach you to drink like a gentleman. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, that sounds kind of nice. Maybe I might be able to drink it too quick, you know. <laughs> so I imagine, like, the people you know, still standing by the bar with the glass in their hand, going, now, gentlemen, lift up the glass, take a small sip and put the glass down. I'm thinking, like, a swimming lesson, just drinking. <laughs> and uh, she, I, got, I, got, I walk into the Betty Ford Centre and she goes, I go, so... Mrs. Ford, where's the bar? She looked, she looked at her eyes and went, <laughs> whap! <laughs> she says, you're definitely in the right place. <laughs> and, but you, you do drink again now, because I know you gave it up. I, mean, I, I, I gave it up for Lent, but then, I, you know, Lent was up. <laughs> but you don't do... Uh, do you do any substances now, any of the drugs? No. No. You tried Viagra recently, though, didn't you? I, I tried Viagra. I, 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 I with, overdosed on Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I went camping for three weeks without going with a tent, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, let's talk about the show a bit more then. This is the show, it's the Osbournes, it's coming through to British TV. It's going to be a huge show over here as well, I'm sure. I hope so. Um, we have a clip to show in a minute, but first of all, uh, tell us about the character in it. It's, you're right at the centre of all. We have your wife, Sharon. No, it's just us being us. It's just, it wasn't scripted. It wasn't... They didn't go, that looks good, Ozzy, when you fall down the stairs. But this time, when you fall down the stairs, can you smile at the camera? It wasn't... Yeah. <laughs> it was like, as, it was, it's a, it was there, they were there 24 hours a day, Filming us from when we got up in the morning to when we went to bed at night. Some days it was like, get that camera out of my face, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, it, was, it was a good experience. I'm doing another series next year. You are doing another series? Yeah. OK, let's have a look. Here's the clip of you. When you in this is you move house at the beginning of the series, don't you? And they film yeah. you moving into this new house. Uh, and this is Ozzy trying to come to grips with the, the new technology involved in the house, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> let's I'm have a look. useless at all these jokes. <laughs> well, uh, I guess... That's your son you're calling, isn't it? Yeah, that's my son. How, so, uh, how old is Jack then? How old is your son? Oh, uh, seven... Sir... <laughs> Hang on. Thirty... Uh... Sharon, how old's Jack? Terrence. 
16! 16. Oh. <laughs> uh, I could hear that echo. Yeah. <laughs> Follows you around, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, you do come across, seriously, he comes across as a great dad in it. You really do. You come across as somewhat sort of besieged sometimes. Um, but I guess you haven't always been, you know, back in your wilder days, you weren't always the best husband in the world. Is it true once you, you came back to the hotel with a groupie, having forgotten that Sharon was there on oh, tour yes. with you? Oh, yes. That must have been no, fun. Well, what happened was, I, I went to Japan and I didn't intend to get drunk because when I was trying to stop drinking. <laughs> yeah. And I, I come around, I don't know what happened, but I, I went to Japan and I'm reading all this Alcoholics Anonymous literature in my bedroom. Next thing I know, I'm in this club with this Japanese bint. <laughs> <laughs> and a bottle of sake and I forgot, I forgot, I took my wife back to the hotel. I, I forgot I bought my wife and I was, she helps me back to the, to the hotel and this Japanese bint. And I knocked, uh, it's a Japanese word for young lady, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> bento. Uh, bento box, it's like that, of course, yeah. So I take it, I take it back. She, I, I'm trying to get the key in the door, and the door, the door suddenly swings open. This bent gets ch chinned, and I get a picture frame wrapped over my head. <laughs> and that was Sharon? That, yeah, that was a... That was... But she's kept you, I guess, well, I mean, she kept you alive, do you think? I mean, is it... Absolutely. Absolutely. And yet you tried to murder her once? Yeah, because she was keeping me alive too long. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you know these stories, because there's so many Ozzy Osbourne stories out there. I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't remember. I, mean, I just read, read the part of the Motley Crue. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of shit! <laughs> Mo, I'm full of what? I think, <laughs> I think she said, I love you, darling. <laughs> Sharon manages you as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she manages me. She's my wife. She's my best friend. Absolutely. And in really actual fact, this year, since she's gonna, you're going to go, ah, this year is our 20th anniversary and we're going to get married again. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> 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 but the thing is, we're not getting married to each other, we're getting married to somebody else. <laughs> 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 I can't wait to see that marriage. I hope you film it. Oh, to love on on about you liar. <laughs> and stop spending my money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one episode on the show where your daughter Kelly goes out and gets a tattoo. Yeah. And curiously, you're the one saying, you know, you shouldn't do that. You no, shouldn't no, 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 You no, must no. be covered in them. I'm like a road map. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've got, I've, got, I've had tattoos since I was 12. I mean, but in California, in, in like America, now, people got, got piercing. Bolts and nuts and yeah. chains and <laughs> like, battle scenes tattooed on the tits and all this, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the women. <laughs> and you're opposed to this? No, well, well, if you want to be somebody special, don't have a tattoo, because everybody gets them now. See, he has become, he's, he's become his father. He's oh, he, he needs to be one of us, so he needs a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, he, well, you know what, we he can take it off. He needs Ozzy Osbourne on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you, let, let me ask you about Ozfest because I haven't been to one. It doesn't come over here, does it? Yes, it's coming to. to uh, uh, where, where is it this year, Sean? Donington. Donington. This time, just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think now, you know, looking at the way you are with your kids and seeing yourself, from, do you feel like you've become like your dad was with you? I mean, is I it suppose a... you all do, really. I, I, I mean, when you have kids, your life changes. You know, I mean, the hardest job in the world, I think, is to be a parent. Mm. I mean, I, I, mean I, I can't take the credit. Sharon, Sharon does, I'm, a, I'm just another kid for Sharon. I, I'm, I'm, I, they go, they don't even ask me. They just go, shall we? We're, we're, they go, we're going there, Dad. Get your coat on, you know. You know. So just, <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a wee before the journey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and yet, how are you going to, I mean, because you're in Los Angeles, which, you know, I'm sure it's a lovely place to live, but it strikes me that the kids there seem to have access to everything, and you've got a past where you've tried just about everything. How do you keep your kids clean and away from that kind of nonsense? Well, no, you can't, if you, you, any, anywhere in the world, they can get old, I mean, old of drugs. It's not yeah. just Los Angeles or London or Birmingham or, or New York. It's, it's all over the place now. And my daughter, my, my, my middle daughter Kelly came home from because I went out to a club a few weeks ago and she came back early and I said, I said, what's up, what's up, sweetie? She says, these dummies who sniff that cocaine, cocaine in that club, I don't need cocaine to talk to people, they sound like morons. And I go, I don't sound like one of my kids, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but that must have, that must have been so nice and to that was that. So, And really, that was, that was, I was really proud of it, I really genuinely was. I mean, you know, if it me, I'd have been still down the club sniffing the ashtrays, you know? <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, it, it, I mean, I mean it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing when your kids turn around and say, I don't, I don't want to do that stuff.
No, it's a fantastic thing. And the thing you get out of the series, I think, genuinely, is you just see, although, you know, a lot of people react to the fact that, you, you know, you swear at each other, you use that kind of language, there seems to be a kind of almost a brutal honesty. And yet, the family unit is so strong and the kids seem so kind of decent and upright. And I don't think anyone could look at it and not admire what the two of you have achieved there. Well, thank you. Oh, you're still, you know, it's not just Ozfest, you're still performing, you're making new albums, you've got... Yeah, a, yeah, and yeah. The, the new single is Dreaming, is it out now? Dreamer, yeah. yeah. Dreamer. Let's yeah. have a look at This is Ozzy in action right now. You could talk to him all night, couldn't you? There you go, Ozzy Osbourne, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a heartwarming story.